Hey all, hope you all are doing great. In my previous video, we talked about the noun type of words, which are the syntactic function, case name, and case making. We already covered the syntactic function. If you haven't watched this video, then please go ahead and watch it now. Because today's video, we will be covering the case name. There are three cases for Arabic nouns, which are the nominative case, the accusative case, and the genitive case. Halat al marfu, halat al mansub, halat al majroor. To make your life easy, in my previous video, I already taught you how to extract the subject of a verb فعل, object of a verb مفعول به, and object of a preposition اسم مجرور. in order to make Arabic to be simple when you ever extract and find the فعل the subject of a verb it's gonna be always function the noun as المرفوع which means the nominative case and for the object of a verb, the مفعول به, it would function the noun as المنصوب, accusative case. Object of a preposition, اسم مجرور, and مجرور, genitive case. Very simple, right? And that's how you could be able to read Arabic right without the need of placing the consonants. You just already know how to extract the فاعل مفعول به and اسم مجرور. Let's see some examples to make the content more clear. أكل الثعبان والعصفور في لحظة. We already know that the ثعبان is the فاعل. In English, the subject of a verb. And the subject of a verb is always going to be the nominative case المرفوع. Al-Usfura. Al-Usfura is the مفعول به. مفعول به is known to be the object of a verb. And the object of a verb is always the accusative case. Al-Mansub. Lahza. Lahza is اسم مجرور. Object of a preposition. Which is a genitive case. Al-Majrur. Now we're not gonna read it as lahzati. Because there is a full stop. When there is a full stop and comma, we just don't read the consonants that is key. Piece of cake. Please don't tell me you did find that difficult. Now I want you to solve some examples on your own. I will help you. سافر محمد إلى لندن في صيف وعشرون. So Muhammad, is it a nominative case, accusative case? Genitive case. Muhammad is the subject of a verb. فعل. Which means it is the nominative case. المرفوع. Good job if you got that right. Next, I want you to identify London. Is it a nominative, accusative, or genitive? London is an object of a preposition. اسم مجرور. Which means... It is a genitive case, مجرور. Now, صيف. Please pause the video and have a go. It is genitive. Next sentence, I hope you solve it correctly by your own. Please leave your answers in the comment section. تقابل الصديقان في الصباح وأكل الفطور. What is a صديقان? Pause the video and have a go. It's nominative. Next, الصباح. Genitive. And الفطور. Accusative. I hope you all got the answers right. Guess that was all for today. Thank you so much, and we finally made it. Our channel has hit our first 3,000 subscribers. Well, we are more, more than 3,000. 
let's see how long it would take us to get into the 4,000 subscribers. And just in case, if you haven't followed me yet on Instagram, then please go ahead and do it. I do daily revisions there. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Ma salame.